right guys, welcome back to the channel. Let me tell you really quick what's going on. It's a post work session. It's already like seven o'clock, so it's already really late. Only got about an hour and a half left of sunlight here. Um, maybe less, maybe like an hour of sunlight. But I was driving in, I saw a bunch of birds diving right out here outside the jetty walls. So let me just show you guys, hopefully you can see. So there we go. There's a bunch of birds right in front of me right there. It's kind of hard to tell the uh, with the sun where it is. But anyway, there's a bunch of birds right in front of me. And then there's another group over there. And I think there's another group in the far distance. But anyways, they're diving. And it is salmon season. And because it's salmon season, these could be salmon that are running a school of anchovies up near the, the jetty here. So. I'm gonna, I got a crippled and no, a uh, watermelon apex lure tied on and a uh, deep six diver. So we're gonna go ahead and toss that over and we're gonna, just gonna troll for some salmon. I already uh, put out the crab pots, so they're soaking. They'll probably get about an hour and a half hour soak. If I catch four, I'll pull them up. If not, I might leave them and pick them up uh, later in the week. Today's Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday are supposed to be pretty stormy weather, but I think Friday I might be able to come out here in the afternoon and pick them up. Uh, so anyways, let's get over there. Let's see if we can catch a salmon. Let's go. This is the rig. We got birds diving right in front of me. They're chasing the school around. We got a crab buoy coming up here, so we're gonna go around it on the uh, on the side that the current is pushing us towards because the line's gonna be scoped out in that direction. We'll just keep our fingers crossed. It looks like the school might have moved a little bit north, but we'll just follow the school around. Well, hopefully you guys can see me all right with the sun behind me. Trolled for, I don't know, a little over an hour. And uh, it's now seven, it's now 7.30 and uh gotta call it gotta grab the pots and get in before it gets too dark i don't have any lights so unfortunately we struck out nothing all right we did a little bit better one keeper female but i think we're just gonna go ahead and uh let the female go even though it's a keeper I feel like it's bad luck to keep females. And uh, we'll take this guy home, but uh, we're gonna leave these traps out, so hopefully there's a limit in there when we pick them up next. All right, guys, here I am. We're on our way to Half Moon. Remember those crab traps I left out? It's now Friday. So, essentially, what happened was uh, I left those crab traps out Tuesday night um and i had it was with the intention of coming back friday when the weather looked better there's a small craft advisor on wednesday weather was supposed to be a lot better um thursday and then friday was supposed to be better than thursday uh so that didn't happen that never happens every single time there's a small craft advisory in half moon it's been extended to like the next three or four days oh my goodness guys i have never seen it this bad this is this is these are the worst conditions i've ever seen um it's absolutely gnarly out there guys i'm pretty excited <laughs> check this out can y'all see that i don't know if you can see in the distance it's white capping everywhere out there i mean waves are breaking because it's low tide they're breaking all over at that reef looks horrible um, but it looks doable for where I need to go. Um, the pots are, the furthest one is only like three quarters of a mile from the harbor entrance. So in all honesty, this should be a pretty easy, quick trip. As much fun as most of my videos look, today's not one of those days. We're gonna be fighting for our lives against the ocean today, pretty much. I charged my VHF radio last night but I guess I didn't stick it in the holder all the way or maybe I left it unplugged or something because um, it's out of battery right now. So I'm going out there, worst condition, radio's out of battery, but there's like a little bit reserve left. So I'm leaving it off for now. And then 
if I need to call in help, I'll turn it on, call in help really quick, let them know that I won't be able to communicate with them. All right, here goes nothing, guys. All right, well, just keep my eyes out for rogue waves. Take it slow and steady, guys. Slow and steady. The port of the boat's extremely stable when it's not moving fast. I see the first one, guys. It hasn't moved. Look at that. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. These are some big waves. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Oh, guys, it was stuck on the rock or something. It just pulled free. Like two keeper dungies in this one. Look at that. Not gonna, not gonna waste any time measuring them now. We'll wait till we get back in the harbor. It's just too dangerous to stay out here and measure stuff. On to pot number two. No way, guys. There's a kayaker out here. He's surfing the waves. I gotta go say hi to him. This is what I'm dealing with here on my end. Oh yeah. There we go. A lot of water, big boat out in the distance. Those are two good sized dungies, huh? One of them has a little damage on his claw, but those are both keepers for sure. Woo. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's a big one, boys. Let's go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, they're huge. Look at these. Woo, yeah. Oh yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, all right. <laughs> yes, there we go. There we go. Those are some big ones. Oh man, look at this! Woo! -hoo. Whoa! Yeah. Oh, we had some free fall for a second there. I'm not even going fast. There it is in the distance. My pot. I see it. All right, folks. Let's go! Let's go! We're gonna get them both back today! Woo! Oh my goodness! Look at this wall! Oh, this one's gnarly! Oh, this one's bad! Woo! 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 Oh yeah! <laughs> oh my goodness! That one was bad! That one was bad! I gotta put you guys down. I'm gonna pull this next pot. I'll debrief with you guys once we're back in the harbor. Don't worry. I got a lot of notes and pointers. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Into the neutral. All right. Let's get this one in quick. Because, oh gosh, I see some big ones coming in. <laughs> Woo -wee. This is a Friday afternoon, guys. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh man! Oh, this is too much fun! Ah. Ah. This one feels pretty light too, but we're not complaining, we're getting both of them back. You see that? You see what's happened? Oh gosh! Oh, it's a big one too! Ah. Ah. <laughs> a warrior's cry! A warrior's cry! Oh, I gotta grab you guys! Oh gosh, look at this wall! <laughs> Woo! Let's go! <laughs> look at it, that's how fast it's moving, that's how big it is!
don't do this. Don't, just don't do this. Don't even think about doing this. It's not a good idea. Although that whole kayaker surfing the waves, that, I mean, that was pretty cool. That maybe you should do. Just get a wetsuit. my boat hook just hooked on to the mooring ball and then it's hooked on down here who cares who cares about that i got two actually we'll measure those in a second but what happened was uh a plane wants to fly overhead these ones they must have i don't know the current must have like they, they say it like walks the pot or whatever um it must have like caught the buoy and lifted up a little bit and that caused my pots to slightly tumble um, or maybe like passing seaweed or debris caused that. Anyways, long story short, when I pulled this one up, this rope as well as the leaded line was actually wrapped around one of the gates, keeping it open. So the crab just came in, they ate, they left. And I know they came in and ate because half the fish that I put in there was gone. So half the fish was gone, which means at least one crab was in here munching the lawn. The kayaker seemed to think he was safer in this kayak than me and my boat. Maybe that's true. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Would you rather be in the port of the boat with an engine paddling for your life on the kayak? That's a tough one. There we go, guys. It's not too bad. Good six inch crab right there. Should be another one here. This one's a little more feisty. Yeah, that one's about six and a quarter. Just on the dot at six and a quarter, right there. So, a six inch and a six and a quarter for me. Look at that. I hope, I hope they're not coming for me, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, that about wraps it up for today's video. Another successful day of not dying here in the Pacific Ocean. So, definitely a success. We even caught two crabs.